Hello and welcome to the Nostalgia Dirt series. Well, Joe's going to make another video here. And uh, this video is about a track that we are invited to in Dayton, Iowa by Mr. Leroy Jones. And what a touching time it was sharing this private track, a special invite with these wonderful people. And we've got a couple interviews. We interv interviewed, it's easy for you to say, we interviewed Leroy, we interviewed some other people, and we've got some footage of everybody racing on the track, and just what a great, wholesome time. And this is what Nostalgia Dirt Series is all about. It's family, it's racing history, and and uh, vintage race cars. So we will be back in 2023 at this special track in Dayton. We'll be inviting some uh, people to come share in this uh, very wholesome, very amazing uh, event. So sit back and watch and enjoy our time at Dayton, Iowa. All right, well, we're here uh, by Dayton, Iowa, and we're uh, at a, a special private track, and uh, we're here doing some interviews today. And uh, what's your name, sir? Harold M. Anderson. Mr. Harold Anderson. And uh, we've got a tribute car out here. Uh, car number 61, and that's a replica, although not as fast as the one you drove, but that's a replica of a car that Mr. Anderson drove. Yep. So, uh, so what do you think of this, this uh, here shindig? Well, I mean, after I quit racing, I still farm and then I retired and now I live in South Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Sure. And so, how, so have you been to this event? quite often every year yeah. you come here cool yeah. and uh so what years did you race I started about 55 to 73 I think from 55 to 73 cool and did you race pretty much around here then I started out in Milford Iowa Milford cool and how big a track was that Racing the coops, of course, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. And six cylinders and stuff. Well, my first car was a 37 Hudson coupe. A 37 Hudson coupe. Well, that's yeah. cool. Awesome. So I bet you probably got a big uh, bunch of pictures and photographs of great memories from racing, I suppose. Yeah, I got all the everyday newspaper clippings in there. Right, right. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. So, so what got you interested in racing? Was it your father, your grandfather? Or? My brother raced ahead of me, and then when he got married, he wrecked his car, so he rolled it over, didn't hurt his head, and he said, no one to pick it up. And he could it take it over, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Get, getting married will do that to you, right? Kind of make you have to retire, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so that was the start of your career, is your brother handing over his race car. Oh, yeah. And then it was on from there, huh? Yeah. You got the racing bug? Yeah, yeah I worked for the Texaco dealer. He, he wanted to spot your car, so we built one. Wow, that's cool. You, yeah. get a, you get a car and a sponsor. Looks like the good Lord wanted you to race, I suppose, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, that's good. He's good. The good Lord's good to us that way, and giving us racing and, and that kind of stuff. That's awesome. So did you? Did your brother ever get back into racing again, or was that? Oh, he, he raced once in a while. So you raced? Did you race against your brother? Yeah. Did you ever beat him? Yeah, once in a while. Once in a while? Yeah. I whooped my brother's ass yeah. too. He's over there. So, I, so he. But he's beat me a few times too. Yeah. I thought I had a race one in. Uh, Oh, Decora. I thought I had it won, but there, there, there he goes. Yeah, and it was all over. So, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, so uh, we got a we got a two seater car. If you, have, if you have a hankering today, you can jump in and ride with me in our our two seater race car and, and bring back some of those old memories of storming around the racetrack. Oh, that's it about. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it was an honor to meet you, and and uh, I'd like to sit down and, and hear some more of your memories and some more of your stories and stuff one of these days, and and, and get us and get you on uh, so the whole the whole world can 
see what an amazing racer you are, and I really appreciate you sitting yeah. down and doing this interview with me. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you uh, helping keep racing history alive. It's pretty important, very important. And all, just a lot of memories, yeah. you know. I know with my family, we just all the all the memories that are tied to racing and stuff. Yeah. Uh, really really awesome that we can do that so thank you so much for doing this interview yeah all right thank you everybody for coming out today. Uh, two special thanks for the folks from Mason City, from the S Nostalgia Dirt Track Series, and the fellow that came all the way from Maquoka to, to be here today with us. And uh, I know it's not a big deal, but it's a fun time, and it's cheap, and it's just a good way to get together. So I uh, hope everybody will be safe today and just have a lot of fun. We're going to pack the track a little more, and then we're going to give her a hand. So, thank you.
you always in like coops or did you run anything else? You always in coops or did you run anything else? History is all about a farm hall. An M farm hall with a log chain. Our record service. Our record service. That's awesome. We got our pit crew here, our NASCAR pit crew. They're gonna get this cut. You're, you're, you're definitely on the clock, Chief. <laughs> Never met the team with that time. I think they've gone a lap the down already. Help. <laughs> Everybody's a critic while, they're, while you're doing all the work. What's up with that? I'm better at a supervisor. We're going to bring the tires. Scott's got a good idea. We're going to put the big tire on the outside. Showing off some of the cars, you got a little flathead in there. So we're getting a little rain every once in a while, but all in all, the weather seems to be holding off, just uh, kind of keeping the track nice and tacky and for a great time of racing. Got little Joe sitting in his little car. So are you having Better. fun, little Joe? Oh yeah. Are you staying out of the rain? quite nice in here actually. Well that's awesome. Yeah it is. That's good. What do you have in for a motor? Like a little V6 or a four cylinder? I have a small Mark Chevy 350. Oh well there you go. There you are. 
like not a squirrel or anything like that. Bob Anderson, he'd be very proud of you representing him. That's awesome. Well, I have a little 265 V8 motor in mine with a dirty air cleaner. And this was a replica of a car that my daddy drove back when I was a little fledgling child. And that's the sanitation company we had. And, and then this is, this is our period correct build, star four with our period correct roll cage. And I think Ben's cheating. I think that's a 406 crate motor because he lifts the front wheels up off the ground anytime he hits the gas. Is this a 40? Is that a 406 in there? It's a slant six. A slant six? Yeah. I put a Dodge in the Chevy. So did the motor mount come loose? Is that why it's slanted? Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's that's nice. Mm -hmm. Star four. My little coat. So what do you think? It. What do you think of this little this event here this in this little time. track? Yeah, I think we need to build one of these yep. little racing. It's three hundred paces. Did you step it off? I sure did. <laughs> Is that around or from end to end? End to end. From the bank or uh, the I, center? I started in where the corner just began, so maybe four hundred fifty or uh, three hundred fifty. Steps? Yep. What if you're a little person? I don't be in a midget have to do anything. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to help. Like one of the lollipop kids or I'm just trying to help, sir. So here I am today, Nostalgia Dirt Series, and we're at the, they call it the, the Field of Dreams. This is a private racetrack here. We got a whole group of people and, and a special invite here. So this is a, a racetrack that they made. And it's a private racetrack here. Way cool race cars. We've got an old six cylinder in there. So, how cool is this? We've got everybody gathered around here checking things out. And uh, got the race car up on the pole. So, we're going to have a fun filled day of racing here. Going to be doing some interviewing. Got our old glory flying there. Very awesome. Very much honored to be invited here.
The neighbor down here had a little caterpillar with a bucket on it, so I came out here. Lightning, like a plow, that big dirt roof. We did that three times. I, this area right here was probably about that high before I started. Oh, I took that much dirt to put that down. And, uh, yeah, I just. Oh, I like it. So, is this track a replica of any other track? or? I went you... down to the old Dayton track and I measured it. And this is awful close to what that was. And, uh, what's that? Like a, they said, somebody said something about a rodeo or something like that. Yeah, where the rodeos held down there. Where the rodeos held in Dayton. It's, it's around the shoot. Okay. The shoots are there too. Sweet. The racetrack. And then you kind of replicated the. This is I, a. I measured that track down there, and I pretty much made this track the same dimension. Awesome. Yeah. Speedway was only 59 to 69, right? Yep. yep. Don't you want it? I no, want you to be good. part of the interview no, too. I'm behind the picture. Did you get a chance to talk to Harold? Yes, I did. I interviewed him. Good. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Nostalgia Dirt Series. And we're here in uh, Dayton, Iowa at a racetrack. Uh, I guess you'd call it the Field of Dreams. I'm here with the gentleman, one of the gentlemen that, uh, and there's a couple more you want to pan over there. There's a couple more gentlemen. going around and I knew I'd arrived in heaven so the right place yes <laughs> definitely so uh, tell us a little bit about your racetrack Leroy uh, we built it four years ago the first time we raced it was three years ago uh, the reason I built it the big tracks around they used to have some old timers come and play and race but they kind of quit that and I had two old cars so I thought I better build a racetrack I asked my grandson, I said, do you want three and a half acres of corn or do you want a racetrack? And he lowered on a racetrack. So that's what we well, you got to have your priorities, right? That's you got to right. have a racetrack. That's Everybody right. needs one. Yeah. <laughs> so this racetrack is special in that if you tell them a little bit about you modeled this after a track. Yeah, I modeled it. I went down to the old Dayton Speedway here in Dayton, Iowa. They had the Speedway closed up in 69. But I measured it and I used to go down there as a kid. did one hell of a job. This is a, you. this is a way fun track to, to drive on. Thank you. Way fun track. So this this to go down history is one of my favorites to drive on. I love it. And I think I might have took out just a little bit of beans. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. He'll send you a bill. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mason City, Iowa. And send okay. Joe the bill. Joe but, will the bill. Joe will pay it. Yeah. So, uh, so this thing you do, you do this every year where you have people come and I'd like to do it more often, but I'll be 75 in March, so I'm just going down there. I'd like to do it more often, but I just, you know, maybe you can help me plan out something like that. I would, I would love to help you plan something out, definitely. And I got here and they had hot dogs for us, they had beans and all kinds of people and a flag stand and just uh, all kinds of really cool people to meet. I, I, and a boy about his age built that flag. Is that down, right? Down the shop. I just pick it up with a bucket on the old tractor and put a chain around it and carry it wherever I want. It goes in a machine shed for the winter. You run yours in a second. You So how long have you actually been racing? Around, you know, Tell us a little bit about your racing career. Well, my first car I got when I was 17, but I couldn't drive it because I wasn't 18. <laughs> so my brother and brother-in-law took turns to drive it. I turned 18 and I raced at Boone for two 
years on the 34 Ford with a Mercury flathead in it. It was quite a car. It had about $50 in it. Oh, wow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and I went in the service, and then uh, my brother drove it, and then two times uh, went back to that car, that orange car, and he went to an old red valve engine. And uh, then I come out of the Navy, and we really super up. We, uh, well, I built a car myself the first year, but it was, it was a disaster. <laughs> so then we pulled all our money put in that car. Sure. And we had a 289 Ford in it, and uh, it was bad. Wow. And uh, I got third points that last year at Marshall County for Sportsman and Tampa. I can tell you a funny story because I tell you about Marshall County that night. We went there and we had a driver's meeting and uh, the guy says, folks, we got sorry, all, all the cars together, we got 19 cars to pull. Oh, wow. So we raced with the Superstocks. They called sure. them back then. The cars like your 57 Chevy. Right, right. And uh, so we raced and I looked at my brother and I thought, what are we doing here? <laughs> and, uh, but I wasn't mad. But I'm mad. Sure. But I got third in the heat race and fifth in the main. That's awesome. So <laughs> I was very happy. I That's, suppose. Have you been to Marshall Town? Yes. That's an awesome track. It's a very awesome track. Yep. Yeah. Right. Toby uh, Cruz runs that track and he does one hell of a good job. Uh, it's nice to see these little tracks around Iowa and Minnesota and just all over flourishing and people <laughs> keeping the racing going and stuff. And so I. I see, uh, so Nostalgia Dirt Series, we have three goals when we started our racing series. And one of them is to put Christ first in our life because Joe, Ben, and I, we're able to do this for a living. And it's by the grace of God that, that we're able to race for a living and do what we love and meet nice people awesome. such as yourselves. And the second thing we wanted to do was uh, honor our servicemen and women and veterans and stuff like that. And I see you're a veteran and you yep. served in the Navy. and. Yep. Uh, you got our flags and our POW flying proudly, and and uh, and uh, and then thirdly, our not, our out third goal is to keep racing history alive, and you're you're definitely doing that. And you're and you know what? You're creating more memories. You know, all these youngsters riding around, and, and the youngsters riding in these cars. Yeah. And I remember when he was just just learning how to walk, and he'd get we'd go down to the pits and driver to pick him up and throw him in the car and <laughs> we actually have one of those cars that he sat in right? when he was a youngster and we're going to restore that car awesome. so this i just really want to congratulate you and thank you for uh, what you're doing for racing history and thank you I, really uh, awesome thing you're doing here i so, love racing history yes harold anderson the old boy up there was 97 and almost my inspiration, my hero. I used to go into Dayton Speedway when I was about 13 and my mom had a hot dog stand on the hill. Sure. And I sold hot dogs, I got in free. Right. I watched Harold race yeah. and I'd make two, three dollars. Is that right? I have my original Dayton Speedway t-shirt <laughs> in, in the house. Oh, wow. My daughter's framed it. It shrank terribly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know that feeling, yeah. I know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's, that's how I got the interest, watching them old boys do it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I just want to thank you for inviting us to this event, and and uh, all the people have been so nice and friendly, and and you and I wish this track was this track might be in my backyard because I'm going to try and build there one like go. it. But you, you did, you guys did one heck of a job, and I just uh, can't thank you enough for letting us be here. Thank you. Thank you awesome. for coming. You bet.